Right, so today we're going to look at a uh, really simple technique of just gift wrapping bouquets. I've done a heck of a lot of hand tie workshops uh, and one of the, the things I learnt in one of the first jobs I had in a flower shop was how to gift wrap a bouquet because I think most people when they they don't think about how the gift wrap is done or you know when you buy supermarket flowers you don't even have to think about it do you, you just hand it over because it's wrapped already. Um, I remember when I first started in the job um, I was cack handedly like scrunching paper up trying to make it look nice um, but one of the girls there showed me how to uh, to wrap flowers in a sort of elegant way and then as you work in flower shops you, you know, the public come in they order a bouquet and you're stood in front of them making the bouquet and then you do the gift wrapping they're like oh I never knew how it was done how exciting so I've just got this bouquet here um, that I'm going to uh, use to to wrap up so a bouquet of gorgeous sort of cafe au lait Dahlia, some lovely pink hydrangea and some peachy pinky spray rose. So nice and summery, it's full of herbs, smells wonderful. Um, but we've got uh, two pieces of uh, brown, just brown wrapping paper essentially. We can buy it on a roll from the wholesalers. I mean, crikey, you can get it from the post office, this brown paper. Um, so it's just kind of a crafty type paper. If you want to go down the whole environmental thing, you know, maybe just use the brown paper. I mean, I have one of my sisters-in-law wraps all her Christmas presents in newspaper. <laughs> There's no reason why you can't use uh, newspaper with this technique. It would work. So it's a piece of paper cut. It's like a, a large oblong, I guess. <clears throat> What's that? Foot and a half. I'm useless with measurements. Um, and then it's just folded in half. So I'll move these two out of the way for you. So folded like that, and then you're just going to spread it slightly um, and flatten it. So you've got that sort of that sort of shape, if that makes sense. Then you're going to put a cut up a uh, couple of inches. Fold these two pieces of paper over. You have sellotape to hand. You're just going to tape those two bits down. And there you go, that's one piece. I'm going to show you again. So, oblong piece of paper cut, like that. Fold it over, and then just spread it apart. Flatten it down, and then a cut a couple of inches up. And sellotape those two bits. Okay. These will make sense when you get to the uh, get to the end. So again, cellophane. I just keep it simple. Um, it's just a dotty, it's clear cellophane with uh, white dots. So it's slightly longer bit um, and a bit more squarish. Um, fold it in half and then spread the two pieces of paper and maybe a slightly longer cut up. But same technique as the brown paper. So folding them up, sellotape in up, sellotape in. And I'm just going to use one piece of cellophane, keep it simple. So my hand tie that I made earlier, I'm just going to hold it upside down. Don't worry about the, I might chop these. So hold it upside down. Again, this was something that the, the girl in the shop taught me. It's just easier to handle and get the paper into the right place. So you're just literally putting the paper around the top so that curve it sits neat against the neck of the bouquet. Just spread it around and then just sort of ease it. Ease it round. And all you do is sellotape across. Probably two pieces just to hold it in place. There you go. Um, one more. Second piece. So you're putting it on opposite side, easing it round and sellotape. Hold it in place. And then finally, just to finish it off, slightly larger piece and you can kind of see why it's easier to manipulate this one round, but just probably crossing the two pieces over, making sure it's neat. Um, and then two pieces of sellotape. And it's just a really easy technique. And then, as you can see, it kind of finishes the, you know, it finishes the bouquet off. Just encapsulates all the lovely flowers and makes it look like a finished gift. 
So it's a really easy technique, um, worth practicing, um, but helpful if you want to, you know, if you're arranging flowers yourself and you want to take them to a friend, you can just do it that way. I mean, to finish it off, if you want, you can put a raffia bow around the bottom, that's quite nice, or just get a piece of nice ribbon, make a bow around the bottom. Um, but it's easy, easy technique uh, and good to know how to do. So if you've enjoyed this, do subscribe. There's loads of videos on our YouTube channel to have a look at and enjoy and get lots of tips and techniques on how to do other stuff. But thanks for watching.